Hey, I'm Alex, and today we're going to work on the fourth problem from PSET 0 of CS50's introduction to programming with Python. The title of the problem is Einstein, so let's check it out. Even if you haven't studied physics recently or ever, you might have heard that E equals mc squared, wherein E represents energy, m represents mass, and c represents the speed of light. Per Albert Einstein et al. Essentially, the formula means that mass and energy are equivalent. In a file called einstein.py, implement a program in Python that prompts the user for mass as an integer and then outputs the equivalent number of joules as an integer. Assume that the user will input an integer. Okay, so what we have to do is take the mass as an integer from the user. We already know the speed of light, which is basically c, and we have to square it, multiply by the mass to find the energy. Let's create a folder for this particular problem. I will say cd um, pset0 tutorial, because that's the folder where, where I keep all the problems within this pset. And then I'm going to say, make a new directory, make there, um, which is going to be called Einstein. Then we change the directory to the newly created folder Einstein. And in order to create our file, we can say code einstein.py. All right, now we have the file, so we're ready to get started with the implementation. First, we would like to ask the user for input, and the input is going to be the mass. So we can say input and then write a prompt to the user. So the prompt could be please enter the mass or enter the mass or just mass like this. Once the user inputs this mass, we can uh, store it inside of a variable, which is going to be called m. Now we are sure that the user is going to input an integer because it's explicitly mentioned here. Uh, assume that the user will input an integer. So what can we do? Once we take this input as a string, we can then convert it to an integer by using the int method like this. So let me show you how this works. I'm just going to come here and print the mass. And I'm going to run the file by saying python einstein.py. So if I enter 345, what happens is that I enter my input, which is 345, then convert it into an integer and then save it inside of this m variable. So m currently has the value of 345. We have the mass. Now let's actually find the energy from Einstein's equation. So we can say energy equals, and let's check out the formula mc squared, mc squared. So we already have m, right? And then we have to multiply it by c squared. Now what, what does c equal? c is equal to this huge number, right? So we can take it out in a separate variable like this, c equals this, or we could directly put it inside of our brackets. But for now, I'm just going to say um, c and then the way we can use exponents in Python is by using the double asterisk operator. Double asterisk or double star means exponent. So if I have C, double asterisk 2, this means raise C to the power of 2. And then take this thing and multiply it by M. So let's now come here and print our final value, which is E. This is the energy. Um, actually, they have a different prompt here. Here they haven't entered mass, but only M, which is valid as well. It doesn't matter that much. And in the end, we don't only want to print the value, but also say E colon and then the value. So the way we can do that is we can say print and we can use a formatted string. Um, so the way we use formatted strings is we enter an F before the quotes. 
and then we can say E, which is energy, colon, and in order to insert the value of E, to, in order to insert the energy, we can use those curly braces and enter E. Okay, let's test this locally, and then I'm going to explain the entire problem from the beginning. We can run Python, Einstein, so pi. I could have used the up arrow. Um, let's take a random test from here. If we enter 14, we should see this big number, which starts with 126. Okay, there we go. It seems to work correctly. Let's reach right over the entire code. In the beginning, we take the mass from the user. The user input some kind of a mass. Then we convert this string into an integer and store it inside of this variable m. Next, we have c, which is the speed of light, and that's its value. This value is a constant, and that's why we're not asking the user for input, because it's always the same and we already know it. Then we use Einstein's equation to say that the energy equals the mass multiplied by the square of c. So c is the speed of light. So we take c and um, raise it to the second power or square root. So that's the value of e. And here on line, on line 5, we're saying print e colon and then insert the value of e. So it could be 126 something. It could be 318 something, um, it will always be replaced by the value we have received on line 4. So that's how this works. Um, now you could directly insert this here and remove this variable c because it's, it's a constant. Uh, but I'll leave it this way for now. I'll leave it with c because if you want to check out the equation, you can um, explicitly, you know, c of the variables e, m, and c. Let's now run check 50 to make to ensure that all of the tests have passed. And we can notice that all of the tests are green, which means that we have successfully passed them. That was everything for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer as soon as possible. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.